Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart together and going over the next really important support and resistance levels. Today I will keep this one short and sweet for you. So get on your thinking caps, listen to what I say and let's get ready to crush the charts. Let's go ladies and gentlemen. So first of all, I'm going to go through the resistance level that we are up against on the medium term time frame. So obviously this is quite a significant level to be aware of. And that is obviously the CC retracement. OK, so what we're going to do, we're going to take out our Fibonacci retracement tool and we're going to click first, first click up at the top left here from the 10th of May. OK, the 10th of May, we're going to click here first. That's obviously the high $59,697 on Bybit. We're taking that down to the low that was put in on the 22nd of June. OK, and from here we have our major intermediate Fibonacci CC retracement. Of course, it's not from the all time high yet, but we have this pivot to clear here. And you can see that gives us the bottom of the CC at around. We're talking about this, this zone around forty eight thousand dollars. Of course, we have four, four to five other factors of confluence of resistance at forty eight thousand dollars. It's a very large level. Uh, to be aware of okay when we zoom in here on the 30 minute chart what we can see is we obviously we initially hit this on that would have been on the friday night and on friday night we hit that we formed our range during friday night saturday morning we got the swing failure pattern on saturday morning with the quick drop to the downside okay and where did this drop obviously bottom out at in the end it was the cc once again so we took that from low up to the high so really simply the low from the 12th of august to the high on the 14th of august on saturday morning and surprise surprise the retracement came down to the cc once again so we can obviously see we have the cc resistance on the medium term time frame here and then on the lower term time frame we have the ccs support so we kind of have uh, you know the support there you know we can say about 40 uh, well, the actual low itself was exactly forty five thousand four hundred and forty four dollars. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so we have we have support about forty five five hundred ish and then obviously resistance about forty eight thousand um, dollars. Things to be aware of then. OK, so this is what I was aware of. Uh, well, this is actually just something that I noticed. So what we will do here is we will hide the Fibonacci retracement and we'll come back up to a higher term time frame. And obviously this this for me is a, a total meme and I, I just find it funny. But you, you have to think in trading, what is the average person thinking? What is the average person doing? Because I've said it before and I've said it again, 95% of traders lose money. Yeah, 95% of people are losing money. You have to have a certain degree of skill and talent to be able to do this consistently well. And Knowing the majority are going to lose, you have to think, what are the majority seeing? Yeah? So if you know what the majority are seeing, if you know how the majority are going to play it, you can kind of think they're most likely going to lose. So I don't want to be doing what the majority are doing, do I? And yesterday we had a perfect scenario of this, and this is still in play. Uh, so I po posted this last night. This would have been after the Champions live stream. Uh, where I was reminding people, you know, we have this, we have this. Oh, a really bearish rising wedge. Oh, bearish rising wedge, everybody. Uh, you know, the very bearish rising wedge. I'll bring it back serious. Uh, but all I'm saying here was, wouldn't it be nice to rise and stop everybody out? Everybody's getting bearish because of a rising wedge. It really is one of the most useless patterns. But um, anyway, you know, we have this rising wedge that people are freaking out about. And obviously it was during this drop, people are really recognizing, people are getting bearish because of the rising wedge. And so it all came together. <laughs> My honest, honest thoughts were, we are going to get a rise off of this because people are bearish because of the rising wage too early. And secondly, secondly, ladies and gentlemen, what did we have last night form? It was obviously the CME gap. So we had a CME gap. Of course, you can look at this ticker, BTC1 exclamation mark. We opened with a gap, obviously downwards at the time, gap downwards. And if we add that on, on the buy bit chart, we had the, you know, the gap here. And obviously we're thinking about this at the time, lower down on the chart that we, in my personal opinion, it was a very high probability that we were going to rise to fill the CME gap. If you're in the champions group, then you know that was my exact words. I think it's very, very, very likely that we're rising to fill the CME gap and rise we did to fill the CME gap. So you can see that resistance came in again after having the gap uh, obviously formed late last night. We filled this gap at around 1 a.m. and then obviously topping out there at 4 a.m. for another little bit of a decline in price here. So it's very clear now we have filled the above CME gap 
That was always likely, I think, really to get that rise in price. And now we are hovering up at around the range highs. Obviously, then we zoom into the five minute chart. We're in a little bit of a local downtrend here with a low, with a high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. OK, I would say we got that little bit of intraday resistance then coming in. Uh, you know, I think I would probably say, let me just see this on the 30 minute chart. La, 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 la. Yeah, so we basically got intraday resistance. I was, let's just do one more fib pull here from this high then to this low. But well, I mean, funnily enough, actually, I would, I would still say our intraday resistance is, is kind of is this gap pretty much. So it's about 47,800. This is still for level for me, I would say, is our intraday resistance, funnily enough. So uh, you still have that resistance here. At a basically uh, 40, the gap exactly is 47,794. So we can just say intraday resistance about $47,800. No, um, that, that's that's our intraday level to trade off of for, for the resistance. In terms of support, I think locally we can say there is not, not as much support built up here. Obviously, we had a very we had a very quick rise in price. Uh, you know, going into last night, not surprising if I'm honest, it was a total, it was a total short squeeze opportunity. Obviously, because of the rise in price here, there hasn't been so much support being built up. I mean, of course, I still lean bullish. Um, so take that for what you will, but I still lean bullish here, but I'm, I'm just not seeing the great strength or I'm not just seeing a great amount of support that's built up here. Of course, we could reverse at any point in time. All it takes is bam and an injection of volume and you've got a reversal here. But currently on the intraday, we, I think we can agree or maybe you can agree with me, there's not a massive amount of intraday support below us, is there? It's not like we have anything that's absolutely screaming at us. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing There's nothing around here locally where I'd say we have a, ma a massive amount of support. Obviously, if we try and form our old channel that we had during the weekend, where if we just hide the gap again, so we hide the gap here, we can hide have put on this old channel that we were trading. This is obviously with that first high was made down to the lows here. And we can see it was support, resistance, resistance, resistance back into support. Of course, this is what we call like a deviation type move. It's just a really big bit of chop. Overall, though, we had the probabilities while we were at that channel load that we were going to get the rise to stop people out to fill the gap. So although this might look choppy here, the probabilities were definitely still in favor of upside and obviously we got it. Uh, but overall, we can still oh, look at this actually, funny enough, we hit the we hit the middle of the channel here again. But the bottom of the channel obviously offers the greatest support. You know, we have a, we have a scope trace from the middle of the channel, but greatest support is obviously at the around the channel lows. So we can say then pretty pretty safely we have that support over the, the lows around 45,900 don't we say so 45,900 lows to around 47,900 resistance and that gives us our intraday range and that gives us this gives us our, our trading range of the day um so i think you know in my opinion everything here is trading very 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 technically the swing failure pattern off of this major cc to the low put in here I'll remind you of this one really quickly, obviously on the CC, where we have probabilities of the gap fill. We've come up and we filled a gap and we reject off of where the top of the channel and around the gap fill. Now we are getting our retracement back down. And I would definitely be inclined to say that, you know, our biggest support level is obviously around 45,900 being the low of the channel. And obviously our biggest resistance currently here locally is around 47,900. Okay, and as we all know, ladies and gentlemen, should we break the channel high and we break resistance, we obviously have to just look simply have to look back up to this high first because you always have to remember that you can always look for the swing failure pattern. So I would have to be aware of a swing failure pattern here. But should we obviously break and hold this high, then there's no need to look for the swing failure patterns. Just like here, we had a potential of a swing failure pattern. There was no swing failure pattern, so you do not look for it anymore. I would look for a swing failure pattern off of this high, but if there is not a swing failure pattern, then we obviously can look for higher, up to around then that $49,000. And the same for the downside. Should we break the channel lows, we can look back down to our next layer of support. Um... Okay, we can look for a swing value pattern off of this low, but then obviously we have more of the bigger, you know, well, I mean, this is such a big support level in my opinion. Should, should we break this? I mean, we're probably going to have to be looking for the pushback down to out towards 44,500, to be honest with you. Um, and so it's kind of a level to level way of trading here. I think we have our, we have our current range, which is very well respected. And then should we break our range high? We obviously look for the move potentially 
off of the swing fair pattern if not towards 49k and just like that to the downside we're looking for our longs obviously off of the channel low but should support break we have to then look down to our next layer of support so it really is in my opinion this is the best way to trade it's called level to level trading and uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much the champion of it. So uh, if you want to learn level to level trading, then who better to learn it from? Um, and obviously, if you're interested, last night i done a champions live stream. It's kind of like this live stream, but in times 100 more detail. So if you really want the in-depth analysis, more of a longer term time frame viewpoint uh, of Bitcoin, more for looking at swing trades, going through the real where I feel the next best trades are. Um, and obviously, I do that in the champions live stream chartchampions.com if you want to learn the educational side of it all i also teach all of that for the for the contenders here for this free public video giving you my perspective here of our next intraday trading levels which are very 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 much have to be aware of aware of the resistance that we have of the major cc and how we can approach this in the intraday trading ladies and gentlemen i hope you've enjoyed this one i've tried to keep it short and sweet if you've liked that smash that like button let me know down below and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. So thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant week ahead. Come on, let's absolutely crush the charts. Have a good week, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, that's me signing out. Cheers. Goodbye.